Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're gonna to be focusing on early childhood questions. This is a multi-subject test. It's got a lot of content. And content could be vocabulary. So here we have the content vocabulary for early childhood and early childhood development. Here we have some math vocabulary, content concepts that you might see on a math problem on an early childhood exam. We got around a science concepts and terms and, and core ideas that you might have for science, multiple choice questions. We've got children's literature, we got history, lots and lots and lots and lots of content. That MTEL 2 exam is a multi-subject test. It's covering a lot of different areas. I'm not joking when I say this, but when I work with teachers that are taking like the MTEL 09, that's the high school math exam, or the MTEL 06, that's the history, uh, history uh, teacher certification exam for high school teachers, or the MTEL 10 for general science, or any of the other MTELs that are content areas. This stuff here, the math, the history, the general science, easy peasy, because you just have to focus on one thing. You just gotta be really good at math. Whereas an early childhood exam like the MTEL 02, well, here's an exam that has a little bit of everything. It has your early childhood, it has your special education, it has children's literature, early literacy, math, science, English, history questions, geography questions, and two essays, which incorporate lesson planning. Lots and lots of moving parts here. One of the best ways you can get ready for this test is to study the core content or core vocabulary in each of these sections. All these key vocabulary words and concepts in early childhood, math, science, English and literacy, and history. These are these essential ideas that you wanna to know to have success on the multiple choice and the open response. You're just building general knowledge here. No one has to be an expert on any of these ideas. It's just having an awareness of these ideas. For example, you wanna know the difference between fiction and nonfiction. Which one is real? Which one is not real? Oh, fiction, that's the one that's not real. Nonfiction, that's the stuff involving informational texts and facts and details and things that are real. That may seem basic, right? Well, even if you had that basic awareness of those two ideas, that might translate into a correct answer on the multiple choice. Or in history, basic ideas like events in the American Revolution, like the Boston Tea Party, or what is the US Constitution? And how is it connected to ideas like popular sovereignty and, and governments that are ruled by the people? Or what is a whole number or prime number? Or who's Piaget? And how is Piaget different than Vygotsky? These are all core, core ideas. And if you start here, Make sure you have a working knowledge of any one of these terms, like a one sentence definition of any of these terms. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.